The Circuit Python Parsec. I want to show you how you can use the Adafruit Waveform Library to import a sine wave and use that to generate a tone that you can hear. So what you'll see in my downshooter here is I have a Circuit Playground Blue Fruit connected to our little uh, Stemma amplifier and speaker breakout. And when I press the two buttons, I'm going to play different tones. So these are nice, smooth uh, sine waveforms, and the way that those are created is with this code. I import the board for the pin definitions, digital I.O. so I can use the buttons, the bouncer to make the buttons even friendlier to use, and then I'm importing audio cores, raw sample, and audio PWM I.O. so that I can output over that audio output pin. And then I'm importing Adafruit waveforms sine. Then I am setting up two sine waves. I have sine wave low, which is created with this sine wave and then a sample rate of 8,000 and a pitch or frequency of 440. Then I take that sine wave that gets created and I essentially turn it into a table or an array. And that's what this raw sample does. Raw sample takes that array and turns it, or takes that waveform, turns it into a sample array. And then I'm doing the same sort of thing again, except this time with a higher pitch, 660. So this is equivalent of an A and an E. And then I set up the audio output on the board's audio out pin. Sometimes that's A0. On this board, it's just called audio. Then I set up my buttons. And then in the main loop, when I press a button, it does this, audio play, sine wave low sample, and then it loops that. So this is essentially a single waveform, and it just keeps looping that over and over again, so it plays constantly. And then when I do that with the high sample, we get the higher pitch. And so that is how you can use Adafruit Waveform to import a sine wave and play it back as a tone inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.